Welcome to Nordic Market News, Thursday the 22nd of December. This program is brought to you by News Agency Direct on behalf of Infront. Every week we take a look at the key events in the Nordic markets, Sweden, Finland, Denmark and Norway. And for this week, the markets have been rather quiet in the run-up to Christmas, although not completely without drama. Uh, taking a look at the stock market indexes at the moment, we can see that Sweden is down about 2% for the week, whereas Helsinki is slightly up 0.3%, Oslo is down around 1%, and Copenhagen again slightly up about half a percent. Starting with Sweden, the key event this week has been the Riksbank, the central bank's uh, interest rate decision on Wednesday. The outcome, an unchanged negative steering rate of about half of minus 0.5%, uh, was in line with expectations, as was the decision to extend the asset purchasing program. What caught the market's attention, however, was that the Riksbank board of six was split three against three versus extending the asset purchasing, purchases at these levels. Ultimately, the governor, Stefan Ingves, had to cast the out the deciding vote. The currency and bond markets took this to mean that the era of ultra-light monetary policy is nearing the end and the Swedish krona gained sharply against both the euro and the dollar. Interest rates, interest rates were more or less unchanged, however. Looking at specific companies, we can see that fingerprint cards, always in the spotlight, uh, has grabbed attention again. Uh, this time they announced that uh, one of its sensors has been included in the new PC by Samsung, the Korean company. This is the first known time that uh, fingerprint has sold anything to Samsung and the hopes among the company's many fans is that this is just the first step and that the next step will be the sale of sensors to smartphones as well. Uh, the share rose some 5% uh, on the day of the announcement and is up about 10% for the week in total. We also heard news from SCA, the hygiene and forestry company, which made a deal to buy German BSN Medical for some 27 billion kroner. The deal has been rumored for some time and was no surprise, but got generally good reviews from analysts, although some of them complained about the price tag. SCA rose about 2% the day the deal was announced uh, and has since then performed in line with the market. Finally, from Sweden, Volvo Cars, not to be confused with a truck company, uh, has sold preferential shares worth 5 billion kroner to three Swedish institutions. This is the first time that the non-listed company, it's uh, owned by a Chinese company, uh, has any Swedish shareholders in the books. The company, the car company was spun off from the old Volvo uh, when it was sold to Ford many years ago. Uh, this move is, uh, was welcomed by, by investors uh, and commentators in the market and is seen as a first step to, towards an IPO, possibly as soon as next year. In Finland, the weakest name of the big board stocks was Nokia, the telecom company. It fell 4% on Thursday uh, after almost two weeks of small but steady uh, appreciations. Uh, Nokia has sued Apple. Uh, on patent-related issues uh, in both Germany and the U.S. Another loser for the week is Autotech, an engineering company that delivers equipment to the mining industry. The company warned the, or cut its forecast for the operating margin for the year and now sees negative margins, whereas uh, the previous uh, forecast was for a positive margin in the region of 2 to 3 percent. Uh, the share is about 3 percent lower this week so far. In Norway, Norway, the key macro event is the official normalization of relations with China, uh, which has been frosty since 2010 when the, Nobel, uh, the Norwegian Nobel Peace Prize Committee award, awarded the Peace Prize to a Chinese dissident. It was not appreciated in China and the uh, relations have been uh, non-existent more or less since then. On a more company-specific level, Opera Software announced that the, the company sells a majority stake of its TV business uh, at a price that was deemed fair by analysts. However, the company also warned that uh, the EBTA, 
result was likely to come in slightly below expectations for the full year. And the market uh, focused on this. Uh, share is down some 14% this week so far. Uh, but we've also seen some forecast changes from companies in Denmark. The biggest one is Dong Energy, the energy giant that was listed in June this year. Uh, now it raised its profit forecast for the year to an expected EBITDA result of 24 to 25 billion Danish kroner. Uh, which is up from the previous estimate of 20 to 23 billion. The revision is partly due to the sale of a stake in a wind power project, but also due to uh, stronger oil and gas business as well as to lower costs, the company said. Dong share is up about 8% this week. From Denmark, we also heard from the pharmaceutical company Genmab, uh, which raised its profit forecast for the full year. Uh, Genmap's partner Janssen Pharmaceuticals ha has submitted a, uh, an application for one of the company's drugs to Japanese authorities. And this triggered a milestone payment of $10 million to Genmap. The Genmap share is up uh, slightly up this week, slightly less than 1% so far. Those were the headlines for today. We'll be back after the holidays. Thank you for watching and Merry Christmas.